Across the Crack, welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know I haven't been around in a while, it's been about, I it's about three weeks since I had a proper video. To be honest, I've been a little bit busy, but it's mostly been just me trying to take care of my own mental health. I think all this COVID stuff is just starting to have a really bad effect on me. I've been stuck indoors all the time, I never really realised, even though I'm, I'm usually stuck indoors, I never realised how much of an effect it would have on me to be constantly stuck indoors. So that's why I'm outside today. I'm trying to get back into getting my brain a bit healthier getting my overall mood a bit better just getting healthier physically as well it feels weird because it was about a year ago when i was in the woods here talking about how i wanted to be healthier how i had this big goal about doing all these different things and none of them came true <laughs> i didn't accomplish any of them yeah i guess i'm back to square one with a lot of things but i've less on my plate as well so i've less stress i've less to worry about yeah i have a couple of other things going on as well which i'm going to talk about but right now it's just nice to be here in the woods to be listening to the birds not stuck in front of my computer or whatever because it's all just noise and i've had too much of it lately and i need some peace i need some nature this is my fourth day this week being out I'm starting to feel a lot better mentally physically and i want to keep it up i'm not going to say like yeah these are my goals and i'm sitting them in stone and stuff but i'm just going to keep at it a few people have contacted me saying where are you? What have you been up to? We're worried that you're going to be not doing YouTube anymore and I am. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to keep going until I'm just going to keep going at it. It's just how it is. That's what I want to do. I'm not going to stop. I just really need a break. Just for my own mental health and just for some peace and quiet and yeah, to kind of replan, rethink things and to try and come up with another kind of direction to go on YouTube and in life as well. So uh yeah, the stress of not having to worry about having a video, even though I'd have the ideas, it's just making the video and then worrying that it's gonna be shit or worrying that, that it'll get like 10 likes and that'll be it, you know? And I'm worrying really about the wrong things. You know, that's the stupid thing about it. I'm, I should be focusing on being creative and making the best ideas, not worrying about what people actually think of my work. Because at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> like, I really don't. I just want to make the things I want to make, you know? So, but I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to get my heart rate up. I'm going to get a bit of sweat pumping, and I'll be back soon. It's weird because I took a break from all this running and health crap for about a year and now that I'm back doing it my body was like yes where has this been like the first day I did it my body was really really craving it and it, it actually needed it and I know like I said it's been a year and I'm actually surprised that my health level hasn't dropped a lot because I'm actually noticing that I'm able to do what I was able to do last year and even a little bit more so I'm surprised maybe my diet wasn't that bad after all <laughs> I thought that while I'm here I may as well check my geocache as well, it's just over here. I haven't checked it in a few weeks, but uh, let's see if anyone has signed it recently, I don't think they have. But I know I have a couple of signatures, and I don't think I've ever shown them in the vlog actually, so uh, today might be the day. This is one of my favourite parts of the woods, it's just completely surrounded by trees. It runs along by the river, the sounds here are just lovely. Even the smells, like you can get all the smells of the flowers and stuff, and it's just... Yeah. And just look at this, beautiful. Where else would you get it? I know there's tons of other places you get it, but like I'm biased. This is my this is my woods and I love it, so yeah. Okay, I'm near my geocache. Oh god damn it, there's two people behind me. <laughs> there's two people walking, I'm just about to get it. Okay, I'm gonna have to hang here for a sec. Okay, so I'm walking this trail until <laughs> those people are gone. You're probably gonna think I'm hiding drugs or some shit. Probably should have hidden the geocache up here somewhere. It's probably a much better area. Okay, they've passed, they've passed. They're coming back, probably watching me. <laughs> That's the feeling I'm getting now. So, uh, <laughs> they were walking past, I didn't record it. One of the girls said, Oh, I loved your video that you did on the Lark and Kilbaha. And I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking they were gonna think I was hiding drugs, but no, they actually seen my videos. So, thank you, and I'm sorry for thinking wrong. But, uh, yeah, not my geocache. Hopefully it's still here. It is, I see it. Here she is, still here. Ah. There we go. If I can open it now. It seems to be still dry, surprisingly. Nice. Still have it. 
Oh, there's a sticker on this. Tina and Hans and Scrap. Cool. So we've one, two, three, four, five. Five signatures, I think. Five signatures. Which to me is awesome. I like having five signatures in this in the space of, what, would it be around five months? Maybe a bit more? I think that's really cool. I'm happy with how it's gone. If you want to try and find this geocache, I'll leave a link to the video up here where I met it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, two people just walked past me and I think I scared them a little bit, so uh, yeah. They thought I was talking to the tree, I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna hide this again. Like, it's really noticeable. Once you find the area, you'll see it no problem, but it's just finding the area. And if you watch this video closely, you'll see exactly where it is. Back in the ground, safe and sound. But if you're watching this and you're one of the people that has signed my geocache, thank you so much, honestly, I really appreciate it for like participating and for you know giving me something else to do. And I know my friend Neil is watching this. Neil, I still owe you the pound of butter, man. I'm sorry, the next time I see you, you're getting a pound of butter. Fair is fair. That's like life goals. Walking in the woods with your, with your elderly partner. Someday, hopefully. Someday. I started the video about my mental health and stuff like that, and like I didn't really have much of a social life before all the all the COVID kicked off. I had like, you know, I had certain days where I'd do things, or and I got out of the house a little bit. I didn't realize how important those things actually were to my mental health and to my sanity until I didn't have them anymore, you know. And yeah, so I, like I feel lucky to have the woods so close to my house that I can come out, I can go for a run, I can lift my spirits and I can get that buzz when I want to, if I choose that I want to. Some days I honestly don't feel like it and some days I just want to take a rest. Like I notice myself, I notice the change in my own, in my personality on the days where I do go walking, the days I go running, between the days I don't. And it's huge. And like even my motivation and stuff like that. That was part of why I haven't been making videos the past few weeks because my motivation was just absolutely gone. Like motivation for everything. It wasn't just the videos, it was for everything. It was just even talking to people, even like having conversations, it was just gone, you know? Like for the tiny little social life that I had and I was suffering like this, then I can only imagine how other people are suffering. People who have had huge, like really hectic social lives and they're now locked indoors all day. Like I can't even imagine how they're suffering. So the only one bit of advice that I can give you is if you have something like a woods or some place where you can go and just have some quiet time, do some exercise, just clear your head. It's honestly the best thing. It really, really is. Just change something in your pattern. Just don't get up and eat and watch the news and be scared and all this shit. Part of me is thinking that it's not good to be indoors all the time. It's not good to just submit to the things that we don't understand, you know. You're better off trying to have some bit of a normal life, keep some normalcy and just try and get on with it and obviously be safe. I'm here social distancing, I'm still outdoors, I'm still getting active, doing some exercise and I'm not bothering anyone, not affecting anyone and I'm feeling a lot better for it. Like, I think the reason why a lot of us are suffering so much is because it's just eat, sleep, repeat, eat, sleep, repeat, that's all it is. And for the past six weeks we've been doing that and it's just, it's just a pile of shit, you know, and it's not fair on anyone. So if you can, if you do have the opportunity, get outdoors and try and do something. Or go and find my geocache, you know? <sighs> I've let my mental health, like, take a lot of things from me in my life, so, uh, it's just hard to focus on sometimes. And sometimes you just want to give in to it as well, because you think, eh, maybe that's what I deserve, you know? So, letting it get you and letting, letting it get you down, it's fine for a little bit. But when it becomes your life, and when it becomes in the actions you do, and the actions you take, and how you treat people, it's no longer good. I know I sound like a preachy prick, but like, I'm just trying to look out for others because I literally don't want people feeling how I've been feeling the past few weeks, you know. So another thing I want to do updates on, a couple of weeks ago back I said I was going to do a video where I do drawings for people, send me your recommendations for a drawing and I'll draw it for you. I have two of them done, I'm not going to send them all out until I have them all done because then I'm going to show them all in the video. But the two I've done so far, fairly happy with, still have to colour them in and stuff, but yeah, you know, that video is coming. It's just taking me longer because, as I said, but yeah, I've been getting there. Just like everything else, I've been slowly chipping away at it, trying to get there. Taking a bit of pressure off is nice, but now I want to put the pressure back on because like, I need to do this, I need to make more videos. This is my life goal, like this is what I want to do. This is what I want to be better at and be a professional at, you know? I am going to be sticking to YouTube. I'm going to be around for a long time, so... I'm sorry if you don't like that, but, you know, deal with it. You know sometimes when you walk through a place and you just get flashbacks? Certain flashbacks from when you were a child, when you were younger. You just got one. 
When I was a kid, I used to play here a lot, a lot. This wall here is part of the old Vandaler Gardens. When we were kids, this wasn't done up. You can see now there's new buildings and stuff in there. In my mind, I owned it, this place, me and my friends. We used to love it here. We used to genuinely love it. So this wall here, there used to there used to be any roof there, but this used to be our escape route. So if anyone came from the other side, we had a rope ladder. We would throw over this wall, we would climb down it, and we would run this way, which was closer to our house, or this way, depending on what way we wanted to go. Just thinking of all those times and all those memories, yeah, I'm just getting a little bit nostalgic. You know? oh, it's hard to not get nostalgic, to be honest, because like that was like was probably 25 years ago, and now I feel super old, you know? Talking about, ah, oh, sure, back in my day. You no, know, it's like I feel like, yeah, I'm getting so much older, and just, I don't know, it's weird to think back on things like that because they seem so, so long ago, and it just, I don't know, it's like another lifetime ago. It's just mad. It's just mad to think back on it. So I'm finishing the woods, I'm just walking home now and I'm absolutely wrecked. You know what, it was awesome. It was really, really good. It was worth it. Oh. So before I go, I just want to thank you all for watching. You know, I appreciate it so much. And for the fact that I've been away for a few weeks and people still want to watch and people still want to see what I'm up to, it just means a lot, you know. I'll be back next week with another video, 100%. I'll be back and hopefully every week after that. If anyone is out there and they're feeling a little bit down, you want to drop me a message anything like that, do it. I'm here to talk, here to send me a message anytime you want. So yeah, see you all again next week. Bye.